I have been teaching at LPHS since the 20th century, like 1999 is when I started, which is not bad because I'm sure Mr. Warshaw was like here when the school was actually founded. So yeah, 1999, about 15, 16 years. Wow, what subjects have I taught in the past? Okay, um, I have taught English up to grade nine. I taught uh, geography, MRE. Um, I taught math. I teach math now. Um, I taught economics. I even taught home ec. Yeah, home ec. Sewing, cooking, planning, like home planning, yeah, all that stuff. It's fun to teach, it's fun, it's fun for the students, it's fun for me to come up with ways to keep challenging them. So that is my cause I to teach. Well, um, specifically this year, we're going to be starting a project with the grade nines. Um, we're going to be working with the, the math teachers, science teachers, French, um, music, and what we're going to do is we're going to have the kids, the students build an instrument but they're going to be learning about waves, about periodic functions. Uh, they're going to be making a video that they're going to have to make bilingual. Um, and they will have a finished product to show at the end of their project. So that's how we are doing that uh, in, the recent, in the next few months. I teach grade uh, 10s and 11s usually, and this year I also have a grade 9 in class as well. Well, out of my 42 years teaching, 40 of them have been right here at Lindsay Place. Uh, it's been so amazing to work with the kids and with the teachers that I've been able to share with. Uh, it's, I've never felt any need to go change and look for something else. The environment here, uh, the students that come in, even though they've changed over the years, it's really been fantastic. Uh, I've had so many opportunities to see the changes that the government has imposed upon us, all the different science courses that we've had to go through. And I've enjoyed sharing that with the kids and taking that from one step to the next. But it's also, as you mentioned, we're here in my yearbook room. Uh, I've been doing this for about 35 of, uh, of those 40 years. And that's another way that I like and enjoy sharing with the students and having an opportunity to work with them. Well, uh, basically science. Uh, I've been doing physics uh, for the last uh, 35, 38 years uh, here, plus the senior uh, science in grade 10. And I've seen major changes there, and I've been adapting to those courses, but at the same time, I've been keeping the old traditional way that I was first instructed as to how to teach. That's, don't answer any questions. Okay, I know that sounds a little bit harsh, but it's like, it's so much fun watching the students question, and then I help them, I give them hints, and then they learn, and then they ask another question, and we finally get to the answer. And that's, I think, is a better learning technique than just giving them a whole bunch of facts. And uh, the government saw uh, that that was correct because they changed and modified all the courses to go discovery learning. And so they finally came around to my way of thinking. But um, it's really been a pleasure to try and give them that no matter how the courses have changed. Well, Many years ago, I think, I guess it was 35 years ago, a few students asked if they can borrow my classroom for a meeting. They were meeting with a representative from a yearbook company, and so I sat and listened and listened, and I wondered, why were they doing this, that, or the other thing? So I made a suggestion or two, and little by little, they suckered me right into being the advisor. So, with my love of photography at the time, uh, I offered my assistance, and then uh, one year led to another, and I just found it was so rewarding working with students, not only in the classroom, but with the challenge, you know, we could let our guard down a little bit and get to know each other a little bit better, and it was the fun of meeting deadlines, and you work with the students who want to work, because I've never gone with the philosophy that it should be a course in the school, where other schools do that. Uh, we do it as simply volunteers, and when you get those kind of kids, they dedicate themselves and we try and then we have our special little room here and as you can see there's a few signatures from people who've been here before. Um, so there's a camaraderie and uh, carrying on from one generation to the next and uh, 
it's still fun. And so I really enjoy that and that kind of keeps me enervated and I guess that's why I'm still doing this. I teach French, English, history, fitness, and exploration and vocational training. I've been teaching here for 15 years. Oh my goodness, I can't I can't pick one. I love them all. I really do. Because I teach the in-school training program here at Lindsay Place, um, every day is really all about STEAM. It's just a philosophy that shows us that uh, learning is functional, learning is meaningful, and it's all about everyday life and how we're going to incorporate it when we hit the job course. I do a lot of coaching. We do a fitness program with the kids at lunch. We do homework programs. Pretty much whatever the school needs is what we'd like to help out with. Uh, we've pretty much been using STEAM in the musical for the extracurricular musical I do every year. Uh, we do a reach out, uh, we try and get as many businesses in the area to, to help us with programs and doing advertising that way. Um, we've also made deals with different businesses to acquire sets and props, uh, costumes, uh, a lot of things on the technical side. Uh, aside from, well, my classes I do evening shows, which I suppose could be considered extracurricular. Uh, the major one is I produce and direct the musical here every year, which uh, is a relatively long process. We start in September uh, and work right the way through to March for the shows. Uh, it is a kid-run production, so there are adults supervising basically all the acting, all the music, all the set and costume construction, uh, is all done by students here at Lindsay Place. We're very happy about that. Uh, we normally have over 100 students involved every year, and uh, they work pretty much as long as we do. 